for today is about perfect square trinomial. And we have to complete a given quadratic binomial to make it a perfect square trinomial. So let's try to consider this given quadratic binomial. x squared plus bx. No, x squared plus 10x. As we all know that a perfect square trinomial has three terms and it lacks one term that is plus your c that is the term that we are going to find. So afterwards, we will now have to identify your coefficients of each term. So the coefficient a is just equal to 1, which is the coefficient of your first term. b is the coefficient of your second term, that is 10. And c is your constant term, which we are going to find. So again, take note. We can only complete this given quadratic binomial into a perfect square trinomial once the coefficient of your first term must be equal to 1. So after that, we will now going to find the value of c. So in finding for the value of c, we have to locate first your b. That is 10. So the first thing is we have to divide b by 2. That is b over 2 to substitute. That is 10 over 2 and it's just equal to 5. So after finding for the quotient, we will now square the quotient. Since your quotient is 5, so you have to square it, that becomes 5 squared is equal to 25. And this is now the value of your C, that is just equal to 25, and this will be 25. So in general, in finding for the third term of a quadratic binomial to make it a perfect square trinomial, we have to divide b by 2 and after that, square it. That is how you will complete perfect square trinomial. So let's proceed on the next two examples completing the perfect square trinomial using the general. We have c is equal to b over 2 squared. Again, in example number 1, we, have, we will have to complete x to the power of 2 plus 2x. So the very first thing to do is we have to identify your a, that is 1. Again, a is the numerical coefficient of your first term. Your b is 2. And we are going to find c is equal to b over 2 squared. So since the numerical coefficient of your first term is 1, then we can now complete the perfect square trinomial. So that is c is equal to b over 2 to the power of 2. Substitute the value of b, that is 2 over 2 to the power of 2. And we have to manipulate first those numbers inside the parenthesis. 2 divided by 2 makes 1. 1 to the power of 2 makes 1. 1. Therefore, our perfect square trinomial is just equal to x squared plus 2x plus 1. Next, we have to manipulate this given example. x squared plus 6x plus c. So again, we have to use this given term. So your a is just equal to 1. Your b is just equal to positive 6. And in order for us to find for C, that is just equal to B over 2 to the power of 2 is just equal to substitute the value of B. 6 over 2 to the power of 2. Manipulate first those numbers inside the parenthesis and that is 3 to the power of 2. So the square of 3 is just equal to 9. Therefore, we can say that our perfect square trinomial is just equal to X squared plus 6x plus 9.